We all know about the censorship being done to the anime games thanks to the Moral Guardians on Sony. I talk about that many times in the past, so I'll link to you guys the most recent video where I talk about it, or a couple of videos. But in the realms of entertainment, there are actually worse forms of censorship. At least Sony lets you to play the game in a butchered state, but at least you can play them. These kinds of censorship news won't even let you to enjoy the content, or at least some of the news won't let you to enjoy the content, because they are removed, and that's not good for everyone. In my last stream, I talk about how violent video game ads are being pulled off of Walmart. And no, they are not removing the actual violent video games, as claimed by some people on social media. They are only removing the ads, telling people to buy them. It's all thanks to the recent mass shootings and right-wingers calling for violence in video games, including the president himself. As I said in my last video, things are becoming a repeat of what happened last year. Except instead of the White House fear-mongering boomers by showing clips of violence in video games, it's them fear-mongering companies to pull off ads or displays that show violent video games games and prevent them from encouraging people to buy fictional content. But as stated by Vice and freelance writer Kenneth Shepard, who found an employee memo about the decision, while they are removing promotional materials and demos, they're still selling the games themselves, so you can still buy them just fine, which is pretty weird. That's like removing a sign that says, don't enter the lion's cage, but you keep the door unlocked. It's one of the many examples why companies couldn't fully virtue signal their values because their business involves selling products that conflicts with those virtues to signaling values, and to the minds of the moral guardians, you can find many justifications in why that product shouldn't be sold in stores. Try not to sell Atlas games during Pride Month, you'll be making Reset Era go freaking nuts. Also, as reported by Vice, they're still selling actual guns in the store. That's you removing the sign, leaving the door unlocked, and have a weapon rack full of javelins and bows. This is the dumbest, most inconsistent form of virtue signaling that I've seen. And we're not done with that, folks. There's still more. They actually made a public statement on their blog, and... It's the most PR response that you can think of from companies that do this sort of stuff. A very funny part in their response is saying, We will be thoughtful and deliberate in our responses, and we will act in a way that reflects the best values and ideals of our company. You certainly showed them very well, Walmart. But that's not all the dumb entertainment censorship hoopla. I don't know that ESPN actually airs video game content, but apparently they do because they need to get on with the times. But not today, at least to the people who want to enjoy their Apex Legends tournament in X Games, and it's all in response to the recent mass shootings. Look, I understand the reasoning behind the decision, but that doesn't make it a stupid decision. I doubt that the victims really cared that much about the tournament anyway. Also, I'm pretty sure ABC who also cancelled the show, has TV shows that also contain violence and guns. Okay, maybe not that one, but you get my point. But that's not even the worst part of the recent censorship hoopla. There was a film called The Hunt, produced by the Blumhouse guys. They're the ones who produce mostly horror and thriller films, ranging from Upgrade, which is pretty good, to the Gem and the Holograms film, which is horror in a different sense. The film's story is about the working class being kidnapped by the elites to be hunted for sport. And to those who are more politically minded, like the President of the United States, it's about the working class Republicans being kidnapped by the elite Democrats. One of the guys even looked like he's channeling Alex Jones. I initially thought that The Hunt is another Hollywood remake, as there was also another film called The Hunt starring Mads Mikkelsen, except it's in Danish, it's about an entirely different topic, and it's definitely a hell of a lot better than what this film is offering. But I want to talk about the new Hunt film, because they are cancelling this film because... You guessed it, recent events, and also significant backlash, mostly from the right-wingers. Wow, there are so many freaking salty right-wingers in the past few weeks. Looks like I have to shift gears and be part of the BreadTube community, and make 17-minute videos fanboying over a YouTuber who didn't even recognize you when you meet her. But the weird part about this hoopla is that I saw the trailer for this film, and it's not as bad as some of the people want to make you believe. The trailer clearly depicts the working-class Republicans as the good guys, and the liberal elites as the bad guys. If anything, this film is an absolute paradox to the right-wingers. The article that I cited talk about how one of the characters said, nothing better than going out to the manor and slaughtering a dozen deplorables. Again, since the liberal elites are the bad guys here, of course they would say that. It makes sense. It reminds me of the days when GTA San Andreas was slammed for being anti-police, when the police in the games are some of the most corrupt individuals in the story. You know, just like parts in real life. But I suppose in this day and age, we cannot have these violent entertainment to be released as soon as the massacre happens, so of course they're going to straight up cancel this film, which is a shame. I want these films to be put in Hollywood because it sounds like a freaking train wreck, and thanks to you straight up banning this film, people are more inclined to see it. I wouldn't see this film, it's just a hoopla that I want to talk about to illustrate the point that censorship can be caused thanks to recent events, and like any other censorship news,
news, the justification is pretty stupid. I don't care whether or not this film is going to raise tension in the current American political landscape as if it hasn't been bad already. Regardless of whether or not this film will come out, I just tell people to see the 2012 one that stars Matt Mickelson. It's not about the murder of the poorables, but it's still a naturally good film nonetheless. Speaking of censorship causing people to be more inclined to buy the stuff more, I think you all remember about how Omega Elaborate Life just straight up roasted the family-friendly people at Sony. Guess what? According to the Famitsu software sales, the Nintendo Switch version of the game enters the top 10 charts and sells more than the censored PS4 counterpart. Just a reminder to everybody that censorship doesn't work and more censorship doesn't sell. So y'all weebs can enjoy your anime titty game in peace and drink on all all that boomer tears. Now before we close off this short video, YouTube is going to demonetize it for obvious reasons. So thank you guys for supporting me through many means. You can do so by checking the links down below. Also huge thanks to Patrick and uh, seller from eBay for the donations on PayPal. You guys are fantastic.